fashion questions with the media. You know, you could probably even get a more in-depth interview with Andrew Torres. And it's just all off the top of your head, huh? Yeah, man, you know, I'm just spitballing. Okay, so how will we get a sit-down interview with Andrew Torres, bro? Well, if you just so happen to have a best friend who was also your business partner, he may have hypothetically already called Andrew, and Andrew might have possibly said he's noticed your forays into fashion, which is also a topic that his readers are very interested in. And if you were to continue, you know, explore that arena by doing things like wearing unique outfits before your games and being seen around town and maybe even answering some press questions, he'd be happy to sit down with you whenever you want. I sound like I got a lot of work to do, man. Always. Another season underway for the NBA. Grant, was there an opening night that sticks out in your mind? Well, for me... Stay on him, Coach. Stay on him, Coach. Don't let him relax. Kay Cunningham. At the line for one. You know, Cade Cunningham has proven he can get it done on offense. Now, check this out. Back in college, he racked up 13 points in just 91 seconds of play. 
Pass to Vucevic. Takes the three. And Levine with the basket. On the Levine. assist by Vucevic. Levine's got 11 points. It's all clicked into place for him this quarter. He's not missed a single shot. To the paint. Here's MP. Oh, and the dunk by MP. The BA, when he gets the rim in his sights, it's tough to stop. So aggressive and a determined finisher. Nice. Levine against Diallo. Outside Levine. Six on the shot clock. Let's go with a three. The shot no good. And the Pistons going the other way now. Cunningham's ability to find points really is impressive, Grant. You hope he has as much success in the league as he did in college. And yeah, B.A., with his pure shooting ability, I know he has what it takes. He just needs to put in the work and be ready to adapt to league play. Man, you don't see this fella blow many layups. Not against D like that, anyway. Vucevic finds Levine. And here's White. Outside Levine. Vucevic, a screen on Diallo. With the 10-footer. Here's Levine. On easy two on the layup. Levine. He's got 13. He got right into the flow of this game, hitting five of his first seven shots. Pass to MP. There's 42 seconds left in the first quarter here. On the take. Unloads from 13. It's hauled in by White. The Bulls have gone 7 of 14 and looking in control. The kick out to Williams. Sends it home from three-point land. Finding assist is a skill. And, and look, White has worked hard to develop that skill. Now, this to the open man, that's just natural. Now Graham. MP outside. Pulls up at the elbow. Zach Levine. He's been the guy making things happen. With the score, your Pistons... Point. All right. This is coming on to the court. Come on. Get back. Put your game plan. Where'd it go, Man, coach? some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. All right, guys, some stats here. The scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Well, they've carried out a great game plan in the paint so far. Working it down low a lot and getting high percentage looks. Also, their passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. On the court for Chicago. Paul is out there with Alex Caruso. Then it's Patrick Williams. Then it's DeMar DeRozan. And it's Bradley in at the five. That one falls. And they had early success from the perimeter, but I don't understand how they've gotten away from that here in the second. Chicago leading. DeRozan with the ball. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Some solid defense from Stewart. And for the Pistons, they're shooting around 53%. A nice number. Pass to MP. Oh, got a piece of it. Back to Lee. DeRozan against MP. Here's an eight-footer. Puts the move on. Over to the left wing. Joseph knocks down the long K. Joseph has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. The defense takes a chance, leaves him open at the arc, and he capitalizes. Pass the ball. Back to Caruso. Jacks up a three. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. Oh, look at that awareness of Ball. Fantastic at recognizing when his teammates are wide open. MP outside. Bradley grabs the board. The Bulls have got two of three shots to go in the second. For a player who came into the league with as much fanfare as Lonzo Ball, it wasn't the smoothest start, Grant. He dealt with a lot of injuries and adversity. And B.A., that makes the NBA learning curve that much steeper. Lonzo deserves a lot of credit for how he was able to stay grounded and stay focused. He tuned out the noise and kept developing his game. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce.
Thanks, Brian. Well, Zach Levine with his first All-Star selection in 2021, and then the Bulls added a second All-Star, Nikola Vucevic, at the trade deadline. Levine said, we got another big-time player here. Guys, with this combination, they have a chance to be special. Well, we're putting some pieces together, Allie. Thanks for that. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Ball passes to Williams. Back to Ball. Bradley inside. Guarded by Olenek. Out to the right wing. There's Ball with a three. That shot off. And the Pistons going the other way now. I mean, every game against this team is so important. That's how it is in a divisional Two race. Minutes remaining in the first Here's MP. Two minutes. Bradley grabs the board. You gotta love how they've been crashing the boards, fighting hard for every miss. And there's a minute 45 left to play in the first half. For Detroit, they've got three of six shots to go here in the second quarter. Pass to Joseph. MP outside. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. MP's got six. Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. Who wants a t-shirt? Then make some noise. Thanks. Hit your Pistons, master. All right, fans. Getting ready for the Pistons. Ben. Played, were there certain types of teams that gave you more trouble, whether it was size or athleticism or maybe shooting? Well, back in my day, I mean, the big, strong teams had a huge advantage. They could really beat you up and plant big guys inside, which really made it difficult getting to the rim. MP shot is good. The defense couldn't collapse quickly enough. Sadiq Bey out there with MP. Then it's Kelly Olenek, then it's Corey Joseph, and it's Lee in at the one. That's the five on the floor for the Pistons. Oh, MP with a block. Pass to Lee. Here's Joseph. And it goes as the official. Corey Joseph. Defensive foul. That's the end of the game. A big thank you to all of you fans who made it out tonight. Your support is what makes this possible. Please, drive home safe. Hey, guys. Okay, Frank, you want to start? Hi there. Frank Valentine here. Hey, great first game. Now, do you think you silenced some of the questions about you being drafted? Thank you, Frank. Look, man, it's nice to meet you, by the way. Hey, look, I hope so. But I know the only way to do this is to perform at this level consistently. And that's just what I'm here to do. There's going to be some ups and some downs, but I believe in myself, man. And I, I hope to earn the trust of the coach and my teammates. Uh, let me ask you this. Did, did it feel like you had anything to prove tonight? No, because it's not about me. You know, it's about the team. My job is to do whatever I can to help the team win, even if that means bringing energy by cheering from the bench. I'm willing to do that, but fortunately tonight, I called my number, I got a chance to show what I can do on the court, and hopefully that continues. All right, well, we sure hope so. Great game, though. Thank you, Frank. <laughs> 